here in this code sample if we execute it we get uh, printed to the screen uh, all um, possible matchings between i and j starting with i assigned with 0 and then iterating j from 0 to 9 we could of course change it into something more usable let's say we want to go over all values in between 1 and 10 included in order to print out the multiplication table now if we execute the new version we, we get all values uh, the multiplication table includes we can even include the output itself uh, saying that uh, the, uh, the result itself of multiplying i uh, with j by putting something like that Now if we execute, we should also get the result of multiplying i and j. Now we can uh, label each one of the loops. For example, we can say that the outer loop, its name is outer, and then if we want to use break or continue, refer specifically to outer. Now if for example we place if uh, j uh, equals to 10 not to, to 3 uh, we want to execute the break command meaning that if j is 3 then this loop is is uh, uh, stops its, its execution and then we move to the next iteration of the outer loop if we do it then you can see that the output includes all options but j goes over 1 and 2 only and when j is 3 the inner loop stops now if we want to break the outer loop we could do it this way just use the break keyword and then specify the name of the outer loop we want to break now if we execute the code we can see that as soon as j is 3 the outer loop stops